Welcome to the second part of the tutorial on how to convert infix strings into postfix strings. Um, as far as the second tutorial, please remove this if statement m div and put it up here, make it an else if. That was my error. Okay, so now we're going to be doing m div, and I I think I've already yeah I've already uh, did that method down there with you guys. So we're going to be using the current char. And there's a pattern to uh, this one as there was to that one. So it's a very monotonous process, but I believe it's something that is beneficial. So mdiv character, so we're going to now be getting the character from the string, so s.peak. And the reason why I have this character here is because I have to cast whatever is being uh, taken out of the string, whatever is being taken out of the stack. And I'm going to be comparing these two characters. Okay, so now we're going to come down to this else if, and then we're going to do output string, output string plus minus, I mean plus equals uh, s dot pop, s dot push current character and then we're going to just be using the same if statement here I'm going to put that one down there else if it's going to be the second one so the one that we just did here is this one right here so the mdiv checks for a multiplication or division symbol and we did the same exact thing as we did here above so there's no difference in the uh, programs below here. So if you want to improve the uh, algorithm here, you can just include all these under the same if statement. So else if p min, and then we're going to make it the current character, so current char and m div. And then we're going to be passing the character from the string, and I'm just, I mean, the, from the stack, and I'm just going to be copying and pasting this. If that's the right amount. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to be doing the same exact thing here. All right. Let me go down to my notes. Looks like we have everything uh, perfect here and perfect up here. Okay. The next else if, oh, and this third one here was actually this one right here, so we're going to be checking if it's a plus or a minus, which would be the p min, and then we're going to be um, reading in, or taking in the top stack, maybe push, uh, popping the top, peaking, peaking it, uh, the top stack, and we're going to see if it's a multiplication or division symbol, and we're going to be repeating exactly what we just did three times, or two times above here. So this next else if statement, we're going to be doing this for the fourth um, fourth possibility. So else if m division or m div current character if that's and, or and so we're going to be checking if these are both um, true. So if p min and then we're going to be copying and pasting this. We're going to be putting that down there. And then this time there's going to be a little bit different things being done under here. So we're going to be pushing the current character, current char, and then we're just going to be using the same exact if statement, if with the while loop statement. And that covered this criteria here. So push the input operator onto the stack. So we didn't put it to the output string, we just put it into the stack. So that's that's why we didn't see that output string plus equals s dot pop. We just pushed it up there, and then we're gonna have the final else statement here, which I don't, which I think might be redundant. Not redundant. I keep on saying that uh, overkill. As far as its uh, usage, I don't think it ever gets used in this program. Character dot two string. Because they're gonna be printing it out to the output string and output string does not allow characters to be uh, I guess casted like you can put ints in the system dot out dot print line statement but you can't or actually I think you can with the uh, chars also but anyways that's a whole different topic 
So you just copy and paste this, or not copy and paste, uh, I get, yeah, you would have written this by now, so just copy and paste that below. And let me get my self oriented here. So else. Then we're going to be, okay, so actually let me correspond what this is. Go up here. So here we go, FI. So first uh, input, I believe, that's what FI stands for. Um, so if it's the first one, uh, if it's not the first one, it's going to be doing this. But if it is the first, I mean the, the first character read in, that's what the first one means. It's the first character read in. So if the first character that's read in, we're going to be pushing that to the stack. We're not going to be able to output it at all because we're not sure exactly what, what its position is within the string and what's modifying it. And then we're going to be setting the first first item to true so that this else statement is never executed again. Then we're going to be, or I'm going to be orienting myself. Okay, so it actually looks like we have the program done. So let me build it and see if it's working correctly. And, oh. C-U-R, stand for current char, build the file. Okay, and then if you get this error, there's a thing you can do to get rid of it, but I don't really care about it. And we have a simple tester here. Uh, just create the object, and since it's, a, since it's a, all in the uh, constructor here, we don't have to have any modifying or any methods extracting the values. So it's all just going to be printed out when this PE is initialized to the postfix eval object. And I'm going to be actually entering a different a different uh, set here because I just discovered that powers do not work with this. So that's kind of a downside. Maybe it's something that you can improve. Okay, so we're going to save this. And I'm going to be running it. And nothing happened. That's a little distressing. I think I forgot to put a return statement. Oh yeah, we forgot to put or I forgot to put the system.out.println statement. And remember you can't put return statements. You could try to do that in my class, try to put a return statement in his constructor, but you cannot put return statements in your constructor. So we're gonna run that. And voila, there we go. And there's an online calculator. If you just go into Google and type in postfix, if postfix or infix to postfix converter, it's the very first re result. And if you're in a crunch for time, you can just use that. Or you can just use this nifty little uh, postfix evaluator. Anyways, please go to tagtutorials.com and please subscribe. Look at some of my other videos. Uh, have a nice day.